Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tomas Snides. Welcome back to part two in house number 38. So today we're going to finish up this house on the interior. So, so far in part one, this is what we had for the exterior. A nice, simple house. This is a ranch house, which I'm not sure if I know in America, but usually the ranch house means that it's just a one story house. Uh, most of the time with a basement, but with this, we're not going to have a basement. So some of the materials that we will need, we'll need gray wool, stone slabs, nether brick cauldrons, furnaces, chests, sand, and we'll need other materials for on the way, but we'll get to those later. So we're gonna start here when we come in on the right side where this cobblestone is, and we're gonna make a doorway to where it's gonna be three wide like this. Let's stack this up. Uh, let's see, how do we wanna do this? Let's take out some glass panes as well. Glass panes are, where are they at? Here they are. We're gonna have them be just like this. Go up three. Then we're gonna put sand on top. Whoop. We need to have this glass pane here first. There we go. And now we put the sand on top. So that's what our doorway looks like. Nice and simple. So I kind of feel like our kitchen, our kitchen should be in here. Our living room is gonna go over here. Uh, then I'm sure we can find a spot for a bedroom in here. Oh yeah, we also need some black wool as well. Black wool is here. So the TV, we're gonna use our gray wool, like usual. It's gonna be four by a two. And our black wool is gonna go right next to it. You can either make it one or two blocks away from the TV, just like this. Now our couches, we're gonna be using our nether rack. And we're just gonna make our chairs. Nice and simple. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's move this one up one make these even with each other now let's our stone slabs go for the cushions and that's what our couches will look like let's do the same thing with our doorway over here uh how are we gonna get this one to work we could do it not as much but you can just have like a dividing wall here there we go i like that let's see we could have it to where the bedroom is right here. Because usually the bedrooms don't have to be that big, in my opinion. Bedrooms are just meant for... We're going to make this one smaller, by the way. Uh, bedrooms really don't have too much. All you need is a bed. And this is not meant to be a big house. And we're going to put the door here. And a door. We also need a bed, of course. Bed. And the door is here. So there's the door. You could put a regular glass block up here if you wanted to. There we go, that looks a little bit better. And so you could put two beds in here, one bed, doesn't really matter. You could even make another one over here as well if you wanted to, since these right here are symmetrical. And so to stack this one up, whoop. And again, the doorway is going to go believe right next to here yep our door goes in the doorway of course how come it's not the same oh because i need to start here that's why i was really confused there for a second now we can get rid of this wall that's the great thing about sand really easy to get rid of well got rid of too much and now our bed goes here and our chest will go here. Do the same thing in here as well. Let's see, what else could we add? We could add some bookshelves and everything in here. So the bookshelves will go here. Uh, let's make it to where we're going to have four. And let's get rid of some of this stuff thing ahead about interior is you have to keep switching stuff. Let's see. We'll need... Where are they at? Uh, do, 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 do. Where are the note blocks and the record block? Which are... I'll find them. Here's the jukebox. So we have one of them. Oh, here's the other one. So we're going to put the jukebox here in the middle. And then the note blocks go on each side. Alright. 
Let's take out some green wool and let's make a carpet here. Right for the sofa. And so we're now we're just gonna fill all this in. You could either use you could use basically any color you want for the rug as well. These are only suggestions for what you could use. And we're making this that one more in the front here. All right. Uh, let's take out some fences or iron bars. Let's try iron bars for supports for the TV. Uh, let's see. What else could we add in here? We could have glass blocks for here. And then the rest of it could be bookshelves. And that's not too bad. And some a lot of people have been saying I should do this. I usually don't do it too much. But let's try to get a painting here. Oh, too big. We're looking for the Kung Fu. I think that's it. So there we go. Now people should be happy with that. Uh, if you have flower pots, if you're making this on the PC, you could put flower pots right here next to the TV. Just trying to give you guys a little bit more options to work with. Okay, so now we're going to need pistons. We're going to need our furnaces, which we put away in our inventory. Our cauldrons. And let's use gray wool. I didn't mean to grab light gray wool. Grabbed it by accident. So the actual kitchen part, we could start right here with three furnaces here in the middle. We could have two cauldrons here. Ooh, we could have one on each end. And then we actually make the actual kitchen itself. We can have an island here in the middle. Hmm. Oh, my girlfriend just texted me. Sorry, guys. Uh, so now we're just going to make this our actual kitchen. Make some little cabinets up top here. Let's see. We could change the floor. I like using mycelium for the kitchen floor, usually. Make sure you get underneath the cauldrons as well. All right. Now let's lay our mycelium down. I'm not really sure why I like using mycelium for the floors. I just always liked it for some reason. Uh, let's take out some buttons, some iron buttons that is. And I'm just going to place them on every block like here. Put them up top as well. Now take out a item frame. And on the blocks, you're going to place the uh, item frame behind the button. Like this. So it kind of looks like a cabinet now. Hmm. How's that look? Yeah, I'm actually liking this. And then we could have a small table in here using pistons. So for the pistons, what we're going to use are pistons, of course, and rest on torches. And then our nether brick stairs. And the table's not going to be that big. We're not going to have the usual huge table that we usually have. This one's only going to be a 2 by 3 Might want to make it a little bit more even here, though. Hey, our oak. Oh, that's spruce wood. All right. Oh, I'm not even sure if I mentioned that. For the floor, uh, I'm not sure if I showed, told you what to use in part one. We are using spruce wood for the first floor, I believe. So our spruce wood planks. Yep, so you use your spruce wood planks for the floor. All right, back to work. So we're gonna put redstone torches underneath here. And now you just put the pistons down and they make the table. And then you put these here. There we go. And can we put cake on top of pistons? I'm not exactly sure if you can or not. Uh, but the cake is here. Hey, look at that. You can. There's our cake. Anything else we could add? So when we walk in, we have to the right our kitchen. To the left, we have our living room, our first bedroom. Uh, for the bedrooms, let's add a little bit more decoration. So a couple, oh, where's the, where are the paintings? Here they are. 
looking for that one let's go into the other room there we go and we could place a bookshelf next to the beds uh what else could we do uh what else could we do guys I do like adding bookshelves because they add color to the room. It's actually a really relaxing house, in my opinion. And basically, that's really it for part two. Nice, simple interior. If you do want to make a downstairs, which is I'm not going to do, but if you want to, I'd probably make the downstairs start. Huh, that's a good question where they would start. You could start it like right here. If you did want to make a downstairs. And so the downstairs, we, we would use our stone brick stairs. You just have these go down. And then this would be your basement where you, where you can always add more stuff. But I'm not going to do all of that. So I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit more suggestions on stuff you could do. So thank you for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. I know this was kind of a short video. But their interior wasn't extremely too much we could really do with it. Uh, but in my opinion, it actually does look really good. So, thank you for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. I do make house videos every Wednesday and Friday. So, if you do want more houses, subscribe to my channel. Or let's go check out the other videos, and hopefully you can find something you like. So, I will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have an amazing day.